Good evening. Uh, this is lovely. Uh, as you can see, I have a little bit of trouble getting around now, and uh, the the visual art that I've started doing over the last 12 years was very unexpected. It it grew out of watercolor therapy after a brain and spinal cord injury, and after a number of years, about four years, I I was ready to try and do my own drawings and paintings and very pleasantly surprised that they they looked okay. And it really inspired me to join the Barry Art Club, which I didn't think would be, I'm not a joiner kind of person, but it was a wonderful thing to do. And I encourage anybody who has any level of aspiration to join a local art club because it's, it's usually a very, um, enriching experience all around. You watch yourself grow and develop, you watch other people grow and develop. Well, slowly, slowly, things have developed. I have a photographer husband who takes photos of my art and I sell them as cards and I run my own kind of little handicap workshop I think of. But it gives me a wonderful boost getting up every day when I have an idea for a painting. I can't wait to get down the hall to my workroom and start painting. And um, this gig as an illustrator has been the latest thing that's happened and it's just been so interesting. As I said, Margo um, saw a painting that I had put in an auction. She bought it, she really liked it. She uh, ran into the book that I self-published of poetry that I wrote for some of my paintings. And um, as an illustrator, uh, yeah, uh, she phoned me up and said, would you illustrate? And I thought, well, I don't know what the hell I'm doing, but if she likes my work, I'll give it a go. So I got books out of the library on how to be an illustrator and read stuff online about how to approach illustrating as a business. And you write a contract, you do this, you do that. So it's been very, very interesting and um, a wonderful first experience because the most important thing is that the author has confidence in the illustrator that they are going to produce work that will amplify their their writing. It's not. Um, I, I. That's the kind of the philosophy that really worked for me. I said, yeah, an illustrator's job is not to slavishly imitate what the, but to amplify it in some way to allow for both understanding, but of but imagination as well to. Develop, and I had to keep telling myself, she picked you because she likes your work. Just do it. Do what's in your head, and if she doesn't like it, she'll tell you, and you'll do something different. And so we just went along like that, and, and it turned out quite nicely, but it's been a lovely collaboration. It doesn't always, I understand, necessarily work out that way, but it really has been quite lovely. To, uh, to work together and um, put, put these books into the world. And we, were, uh, we, we really had the idea of just using local settings. And we, were, and we thought that was kind of cool, but we were really taken aback at how excited people were. Um, like, we went to the Berry Farmer's Market and we took a whole bunch of pictures, and so then I made a composition that I thought would have be charming for little kids to look at. And, and people at the farmer's market just lost their minds. It was, they just thought it was just so great, you know, to be in a book. <laughs> so, and so that local content, which there isn't a great deal of, um, we really amplified, like as she said in the winter one, I made a point of doing skating at City Hall, where it's recognizably very City Hall and uh, snowshoeing in Springwater Park, and it's to tobogganing at Sunnydale, and on and on. Like, if you know the area, you can recognize things, though. So. 
That's, uh, it's been a wonderful uh, experience so far.